What's up guys, today we will be finding out whether it is possible for you to buckle your bike tyre. Yes, you heard me right, not your wheel, but your tyre. So, let's get to it, I've got a little story to tell and uh, I'm going to show you if it's possible for that to happen. Okay, so I was out for a little ride yesterday, uh, nice gentle ride, I was on a bridleway actually, um, the kind of bridleway where you'd have two tracks I suppose, which would be tyre tracks where vehicles have been down it. Um, doing what you normally do, you'd ride along and you think, oh that side of the track looks better than this side. So I did a bunny hop sideways whilst travelling forwards um, with the aim of switching the lanes. Done it hundreds of times before, no problem whatsoever. However, on this occasion, when I landed there was an almighty twang and uh, my bike stopped basically. I was unable to proceed. So I'm going to show you exactly what's happened. So, you know how it is, just riding along as you were, um, do a little stunt, and then you come to a grinding halt. But this is exactly what happened to me yesterday, um, and I'm going to show you what's happened. My tyre was still inflated, but... If I'm not very much mistaken, that really looks like a buckled wheel to me. Let's investigate. Okay, so let's take a look at that from a different angle. Um, when, I was, when it stopped me from riding, because the tyre was really rubbing on the frame, um, I stopped, had a look, tried to spin the wheel to see if I could identify if it was a buckled wheel, um, because that's what it looked like. Uh, now, it was very difficult to tell because the tyre was so wonky, um, it was really, and, and the wheel wouldn't do a full revolution of the frame. It was very difficult to see whether it was buckled. So I sort of uh, limped back to the car, and uh, now I'm just having a look to see what's actually happened to it, because uh, I don't think that the wheel's buckled at all, but the, there's certainly something wrong with the tyre. So, let's whip the tyre off and see what's actually happening. So I'm just going to remove the rear wheel and take the tyre off and see if there's any obvious damage to the tyre because it shouldn't look like that at all. And obviously then when the uh, when the tyre is off of the wheel, I'll be able to put the wheel back in the frame and see how true the wheel is as well. Um, and hopefully I won't have to buy a new tyre and a new wheel. Let's check it out. Okay, so that's the tyre off the bike, and uh, all seems pretty normal to me. Okay, well that is the tyre off of the bike, and uh, it all seems normal to me. So, further investigation needed. I'll put the wheel back in the frame and see how true that is. Okay, so the wheel is now back in the frame, uh, which will make it much easier to see if that is true. A um, little trick I learned a long time ago is if you tie a little zip tie around the frame uh, where the rim passes through, uh, it's a good indication of how much lateral uh, movement there is in the wheel and if it's buckled or not. So I'll be popping that on there now and uh, see where we stand. Okay, so I've now got the zip tie uh, right up next to the wheel here. Just going to give it a spin and just see if any, if there's any buckle in the rim. In the rim. Well, there is a, a tiny bit, perhaps a couple of millimetres uh, maximum. So that's definitely not what's causing the uh, wobbly tyre. So uh, further investigation needed. So I've uh, got the rim back in the frame. And I've determined that there's very, very tiny amount of lateral play. Not play even, even a tiny buckle, a couple of millimetres max. So that was obviously not enough to cause the issues with the tyre. Um, I have had a good look around the inside of the tyre. And, um, you know, before anyone asks, it is a tubeless ready tyre being run tubeless here. I can only deduce that what's actually happened is, when I've done the sideways bunny hop, um, it's caused the tyre actually to burp a little bit. 
okay? And in the process of me doing the sideways bunny hop and the tire burping a little bit, um, basically it stretched the side wall of the tire. So whilst the tire is still able to maintain uh, you know, its position on the rim, it has stretched the carcass on one side, which is causing, obviously the air will always push outwards, pushing the carcass out towards the frame, which is causing it to rub on the frame. Um, so whilst it stopped me riding yesterday, um, it's still gonna stop me riding today. Fortunately, I do have a new tire on order. So hopefully tomorrow I shall be able to bang that on, get my rims a clean and all that sort of stuff. And uh, that will not be stopping me ride a bike. But just so you know, it is possible to buckle a tire on your bike. So be careful out there. Now, uh, stop watching this crap and get out on your bike.